I know your minds were blown by this rectangle, but we're going to take this even further. Let's select the material and make a patch from the texture. Let's also drag the camera texture in so we have our source and our desired output. And we can take the RGBA channel and unpack that. And we'll change it to a vector 4 to include the alpha channel. Now let's take the X or red channel and add an add patch to it. And then we can pack this back together and change this to a vector 4 so we can include that alpha again. And then this will get plugged into here. And you see this disappeared because we have an alpha of 0. We change that to 1. You can see what we're working with right now. So this is just the red channel. We're not adding anything to it. So it's red channel into red channel. The other two channels, the green and the blue, are 0. So we're just left with this garish red image. But if we plug these in, we're back to normal. So if we change the value of the add and increase it, to increase it to 0.5, you can see the red obviously is getting brighter. And if we change this to 1, the red channel is now pure white because 1 is the max. So you get this you know, kind of bright red image. And if you reduce it, now you have no red, and so you have this kind of greenish blue tint. Now, to take this further, let's invert the red channel. So to do that, we can use a multiply patch, multiply by negative 1, and nothing happens because we, we're still subtracting 1, so there's basically no value here. So instead, we have to add 1. So we're multiplying by negative 1, so any of the positive values are now negative between negative 1 and 0, and that means there's nothing. So we have to push it back between 0 and 1 using this add 1, so now we get this cool inverted red look. And we can plug it into these channels to get various effects. And if we plug it into all three, we now have a black and white inverted red channel. So this is still the red channel, but it's just inverted. And because we're using it for the red, green, and blue channels, all of these three are the same, making it grayscale. And you can continue using more nodes to do all sorts of crazy different things with color.